and those of us that are good, trying to keep peace and safety not to have them. North Korean President Kim Jong-un could have said the same thing about his seven nuclear warheads, especially in view of US bombs and missiles currently falling on seven countries, Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Pakistan, Yemen, Somalia, and Libya, an engagement in massive war games off the Korean Peninsula. Ambassador Haley managed to avoid being two-faced on one level. Joining the ban treaty talks would have been openly hypocritical while her colleagues in the War Department were preparing both new nuclear weapons production and a series of test launches. Another April test, at the Tanipa bombing range in Nevada, dropped a so-called B-6112 the newest U.S. H-bomb now in development and scheduled to go into production after 2022. Jackie Cabasso, of the Western States Legal Foundation, explained April 20, in 1997. President Bill Clinton signed Presidential Directive 60, reaffirming the threatened first use of nuclear weapons as the cornerstone of U.S. national security. President Obama left office with the U.S. poised to spend $1 trillion over the next 30 years to maintain and modernize its nuclear bombs and warheads. Over the past couple of years, the U.S. has conducted a series of drop tests of the newly modified B-6112 gravity bomb. Each new bomb will cost more than twice its weight in solid gold. Of the 480 B-61s slated to become B-6112s, about 180 are scheduled to be placed at six NATO bases in Europe. As it did February 21 and February 25, 2016, the Air Force regularly tests Minuteman 3S. Deputy Pentagon Chief Robert Work explained before the February 25 launch that the U.S. had tested at least 15 since January 2011, and that is a signal that we are prepared to use nuclear weapons in defense of our country if necessary. This is a big lie. To use nuclear weapons produces only massacres, and massacres are never defensive. Jason Ditz put the rocket tests in context for AnyWar.com, everywhere and, mostly, without exception, the test of an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, would be angrily condemned by the United States as a dangerous provocation, and the firing of a nuclear-capable rocket would be treated as tantamount to an act of war. Not today, April 26, of course, when the missile in question was test fired from California by the United States flying some 4,000 miles before hitting a test target near the Marshall Islands. The missile was identified as a Minuteman 3, a nuclear-capable weapon of which the U.S. has 450 in service. The two times Haley flubbed her March 27 peace and safety speech were alarming. Haley stumbled once saying, we would love to have a ban on nuclear treat. Nuclear weapons. A ban on nuclear treaties is clearly what Haley's bosses do want. So she didn't correct herself when she said, one day we will hope that we are standing here saying, we no longer need nuclear weapons. Translation, today the US does not even hope to get rid of nuclear weapons. Instead, the US is simultaneously bombing and rocketing across the Middle East, hitting civilians with drones, cruise missiles, depleted uranium, and even a 21,600-pound massive ordnance air blast or Moab bomb, also tested April 13, destroying caves in Afghanistan. This giant thermobaric or fuel air explosive